Hello, hello, welcome to Ramadan in a Day. My name is Nella Fahidayad and we are live all across YouTube and Periscope bringing you Ramadan in a Day. What happens? What's been going on? You guys have been getting in touch since Sehri. For those of you who have, well done. What troopers. I'm loving your energy, loving all the questions and things you've been sending in online on our Twitter feed. Remember, you can get in touch with anything that you have to share with us throughout the day with the hashtag Ramadan in a Day. Uh, you guys have been saying some really inspirational things. Uh, quite intelligent as well. I'm loving it. I'm loving the whole vibe. Speaking of inspirational, I've got a special live guest with me here at the moment. We've got the very wonderful Saima Chowdhury, everybody. Big clap, big clap. Yes, yes. Just us, just Thank us you. two. Yeah. Uh, Saima <laughs> is a designer, a vlogger, a YouTuber, and a lover of cats as well. Yes. I hear you're into cats. Yes, They always make you, ask, uh, make you ask really weird things yeah. in these kind of weird things. Uh, but anyway, so we're here to talk about fasting, Ramadan, what it's all like and what it's about. Uh, let's get started. Okay. Are you fasting today then, Simon? Yes, I am. You are? Yes. And how are you finding it? Today is okay, but yesterday I was pretty much just melted. Like I was up just a pool on the floor. But today I'm okay. Today, today's good. Today's what good. were you getting up to yesterday? Because it was, it was obviously the yeah. hottest day ever on record oh, in July. I mean, it was... Yesterday I was filming a lookbook, so I was outside constantly, changing clothes, redoing makeup, and it was just... It was crazy. The moment I got home, I just lay on my bed and I was like, I'm not moving for like the next five hours. When you know like it's going to be the hottest, when I know that it's going to be either a really hot day or a really long day, we had the longest yeah. day of the year recently. How do you prepare for that mentally? For me, it's, you know, I lo love Ramadan, I love what it is, yeah. but it's tough. It's really tough. I think before like I fast, I start giving myself a pep talk in my head. I'm like, you know, I can do this, I can do this, like as if I'm boxing and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then um, when I wake up the next morning, I'm just like, oh no, I can't do this, I can't do this. But I push through. I managed push to push through. through. Yeah. What hours are the worst for you? I, this is my favorite question to anybody <laughs> that's fasting. And if you do, uh, if you want to get in touch, remember you just have to get online and, and, and get in with that hashtag Ramadan in a day. What are the hardest hours for you? Because everybody has one. Yeah. The, there's a time that's the hardest ever to fast. Okay, for me, it's probably around maybe like five to six o'clock because I know it's close to iftar time, but it's not close enough. And I'm just like there, just like please let the time just go fast. Just watching my clock as it ticks side to side. Do you know, for me, it's 11 Zs. I find that yeah. time, just sort of around breakfast time, you know, 10 yeah. to 11. I get hungry around then. Excruciating. I just try and ignore tough. it. I'm just like, you know what, no, I'll just go on social media and I'll just look at all the food hashtags and just pretend I'm eating. So you're a vlogger. Um, yes. Now, we can find you on various channels. One of them yeah. is Saima Smiles Like yeah. and the other one is Saima Styles Like. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what you do in the vlogging yeah. world. In the vlogging world, but I do have a channel also where I do daily vlogging. I like recently I did a Ramadan vlog, so you can see like the first week and a half of my fasting on Saima vlogs like. But beyond that, I also do comedy sketches and like little funny videos on Saima smiles like, and also style videos. So for Eid, I've got like an upcoming like Eid lookbook, and recently I did a prom lookbook, and that'll be on Saima styles like. So I do a bit of everything. So. And in terms of kind of Eid and celebrations yeah. when it comes to Eid, style and fashion are obviously really yeah. important to you. So how do you incorporate your personality into the massive celebration that's going to be happening all across Britain when it's time for Eid? I guess I try and put my stamp on with my outfit, literally. I you gen generally tend to go for things sort of out of the box. Like if I'm wearing like a full Asian outfit, I wear like killer Doc Martin boots or I like wear some big sunglasses or something with it. So I just shake it up a bit and that's how I put my stamp on it. <laughs> Saima, I know that you've been on Twitter all day along with me yes. in the green room and we've been watching your tweets and everything that you guys have been sending in. They're brilliant. Some interesting questions. Very interesting Ooh. questions, which we'll get to in a second. But one thing I've noticed uh, for a lot of the people is that everyone has something that they really appreciate, something that they really really love about Ramadan, what is the one thing that you really appreciate when it comes to Ramadan this month? I think I appreciate the whole being with your family around the table because generally I think everyone does sit around the table and eat together but during Ramadan it's like a whole thing like you'll have like all your family's generations come down together with all your friends whether you book out a restaurant or something and you're all there together breaking your fast laughing giggling eating food and I just I love that whole you know being with your friends and being with your family and loved ones that's just the best ever because a lot of the people who might not be Muslim or might not yeah. be fasting uh, will just be like this is hardship why would anyone want to do this to yeah themselves? but like when you break your fast you're like yes this is it this is the life I feel like a champion. I know, yeah. Just ran a race. <laughs> well, you guys have been getting in touch with us and we do love hearing from you. That hashtag again is Ramadan in a day. And because we're live on YouTube, on Periscope, you can be sending in your questions, your thoughts, your views, your opinions, just to chat to us really whenever you like. And on that note, I've got a question here uh, handed to me very early. We're really high tech here at the BBC <laughs> Asian Network. So I've had someone hand me a piece of paper <laughs> with your question. Yes, it's brilliant. Uh, we've got a question here, okay. Saima, from um, Jamoom, I think. What do you eat for breakfast to keep you full for the whole day? And we're talking like 19 plus hours. Yeah. 
Um, I think like right in the well, savory times. I generally like to eat fruit as well. I like to have fruit. I like to have like some cereal. I know cereal isn't good for you, but it's like when I just wake up and I'm just really out of it. I'm just like, okay, milk, cereal, milk, ah, there. And then I usually like having fruit because we have it pre-cut up and in the fridge. And sometimes I just have leftovers from iftar, which is really bad because it's usually fried food. It's uh, always fried food. Exactly, it's always fried food. Well, is it food? not fried? So if like, I try to eat, if I, I, I don't understand what yeah. she's saying about breakfast, because when I try to eat fruit or anything, yeah. or if anyone, my mum just goes, <laughs> what's this? No, not fact. I bet it happens to you guys. No, not fact. It's the complete opposite. She's oh, really? Like, she's like, Samosa, put that down. <laughs> no. I was like, what? No rice? <laughs> This is no iftar, this is no sehri. Uh, so, so that's really any good tips as well for people during um, Ramadan? Stay hydrated, that's the most important thing. So even when it comes to like sehri or even iftar time, always have like load up on fruits, even on like on cucumbers, anything that has like a lot of like high um, water content in it, have that and ten generally tend to go for light things, don't go for the heavy things. I know it, like, the main thing is to go for samosas and your fried food, but that really just makes you feel bloated and then you just can't move for the rest of the day. This one day I over ate and I was literally just, roll you could roll me around the whole, whole house, it was that bad. But um, yeah, eat light, that's and the way. How does fasting impact? Because a lot of people will be curious, Muslim or non-Muslim, will be curious to know exactly how Ramadan impacts on your day-to-day -day activities, you know, if you're a vlogger, you're out in the park every day, kind of yeah. maxing out your gorgeous outfits. <laughs> um, so how does how does Ramadan, how do you have to adjust your lifestyle towards Ramadan? I think, to be honest, Ramadan makes it slightly more easy because then I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to take a break to eat or, oh, I need to do this. I, it's just like I have all these hours, I can just do everything I want. Just, you know, just sort of pin out like the times I have to pray. So in that that uh, that retrospect, is that the right word? Well, in that way, it's easy. You said it now. Uh, yeah, I've said it now. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, in that way, it's easy. But I think the hard part is when the weather kicks in, because then you're just like, oh god, I'm starting to sweat. I, I just want to just have some water. And like, I think yesterday we were filming and it was crazy hot. And my husband was just like, okay, you know, you can't drink water, so just like, just like drink your saliva. And I'm like, no, that's stylish weird. people. These are all yes, life like, skills we're teaching you. Have that. Just swallow your saliva. <laughs> I think that's the tweet of the day. That's going to be tweeted Hashtag out later. Swallow your saliva. Um, have we got any questions that's been sent in for people are writing things down? So if, we, if you do have your questions, make sure you send them in. That hashtag is Ramadan in a day. Kind of let's bring it back now. Ramadan okay. is, of course, uh, about community, about family, but it's also a very spiritual and a holy month uh, in Islam. Yeah. So, what does that spirituality mean for you? What does it what does it kind of mean this month mean as a Muslim for you? Yeah, I think personally to me It's all about um, Sharing love spreading love, but also being selfless and putting other people before you because I think generally we always try to do that But during Ramadan it's really important because you're giving up food the entire day Just so you can feel how other people feel and you try and feed the bellies of the people who don't have food to eat So for me, it's really about being selfless and putting other people before you during Ramadan. And do you notice that there's like a maybe a mentor or a spiritual change even in your family or with your husband? Yeah, I think there is a, there is there's a slight part that changes. You're just like you might do something normally but you're like, you know what? No, I won't do this because it's for me. I'll do this for them instead. So you start to put other people before you and that's it's kind of nice. You start to think more rather than just being a bit selfish. <laughs> it's kind of I always think of it as almost like a reset button. Yeah. You spend all of your I mean we all do. I'm quite a vain, self-obsessed person. <laughs> Not saying that you, you are. You should have seen her earlier. You should have seen me earlier. I was, I was just styling my hair for a good 45 minutes. Uh, but but it's, it is a really important time to be quite yeah. spiritual and be connected. And it's just that reset button. Uh, so yeah. I think we've got a question somebody has sent in. And in our high tech fashion, someone is going to kindly <laughs> hand. Thank you very much. She's trying desperately to stay off camera. Brilliant. Uh, the question we have is, I think, from an anonymous. And okay. that is, uh, where is this happening? Where exactly oh. are we in the world? They don't know where we are. We're in. We're in the digital world, baby. No, where, where are we're we? We're all pixels here. We're all pixels. <laughs> uh, where are we today? We're in Birmingham in, at the BBC, the fabulous BBC. And there's a lovely canal behind us, which you probably can't see, but just pretend you can see. It's amazing. It's really lovely it's beautiful. outside. It's yeah. beautiful. Uh, thank goodness it's not too sunny. That's oh, the God, main yeah. thing. Yeah. But we are at the BBC uh, headquarters in Birmingham, where BBC Asian Network has been bringing you Ramadan and Day all day. What you can't see, guys, is the mountains of staff behind that are making all of this yeah, literally. happen. People Everyone have been working. working while we're just frolicking about. And you know what? Yeah. <laughs> They've been in since two. And we haven't. We haven't. No. We really haven't. Uh, but thanks, guys. Thanks for getting in touch. Saima, thank you for talking thank you to for me having today. Me. Yes, we will probably be doing a lot more silly things over uh, on Twitter and on Tumblr. But guys, remember, this is your day. It's all about you, what you want, what you think is happening uh, and what Ramadan means to you. So keep tweeting, keep tumbling, keep Instagramming, just keep social mediaing. We love to hear from you. Thank you.